from Fox 5 News. This is Good Day New York. Many September 11th ceremonies and tributes are going to look very different this year because of the pandemic. But two siblings who lost a brother on 9-11 are keeping his memory live with an annual Mets tribute game. It'll just have a bit of a twist this year. Fox Live's Tina Savasio has that story. Jimmy Quinn was a diehard Mets fan, some say since before he could walk. That whole excitement for the Mets and sports was definitely conveyed to him through my mother. The middle brother of the three Quinn brothers from Brooklyn. Jimmy was killed on 9-11. He was just 23 years old, just out of Manhattan College. He was probably a year and a half into the job, studying for his uh, Series 7. Um, and he actually just got moved to, to the, the equities, the equities desk, desk, desk on the fourth floor of Tower 1. As he said, I worked on top of the world. That's what he used to say. Every year since Jimmy's death, Jimmy's older brother Michael and younger brother Joe organized the annual Jimmy Quinn Mets game at City Field. Hundreds of friends and family attend a game celebrating Jimmy's memory and his favorite team. That started with uh, Jimmy's roommate, a, a guy by the name of Billy Carroll. Uh, they were roommates at Manhattan College together, and the two of them would often go to Mets games, win or lose, they were there. And um, it was his idea. He goes, I'm going to put on my credit card, we're going to get a couple hundred tickets, I'm going to do this in memory of Jimmy. And then I came up with the idea of the shirts. This year, the Quinn brothers were thrown a curveball, with no fans allowed at City Field due to the coronavirus pandemic. And it's a whole thing. We pick out a different color shirt. It's just a whole ritual that we do. And um, I, you know, Mike and I were just talking about it, and we pictured what would Jimmy do. We always say that in our business, you know, what would Jimmy do? Because he was more of the risk taker, gutsy one of the family. And uh, we said Jimmy would kick our, kick our buns if we didn't do this do this game. On 9-11, they play Toronto. They play the Blue Jays at 6.30 that night. So buy a shirt, make some hot dogs, uh, ha you know, send pictures on online at hashtag um, uh, never forget 9-11. A week before the game, Michael and Joe reminisce about Jimmy outside of McSorley's in the East Village. It's a bar that holds lots of memories for the Quinn brothers. When Jimmy passed, they put his picture behind the bar here at McSorley. So every time I come in here, I just have that connection of, of I see ghosts. I have a, a sense of connection with, with my brother and, and what we've accomplished. And, and it just gives me a, kind of an eerie feeling when I come into McSorley's. One story that still gets them emotional was when Mike Piazza hit that iconic home run on September 21st, 2001 in the first baseball game back since the attack on America. Piazza was Jimmy's favorite player. He absolutely adored Mike Piazza. I think he used to follow him around like a groupie. This annual Mets game isn't the only honor the brothers do in memory of Jimmy. In 2015, Michael and Joe revived America's original hot dog company, Feltman's of Coney Island. When we were kids growing up in Brooklyn, we would have started business together. Uh, I'm a Coney Island native and historian, and uh, I always knew about the, uh, the legendary Feltman's hot dog. Mike was more of the arts, you know, the art side of the creative side of the family. I was, I went into the military, played sports. Jimmy was the businessman. His idea, I'm going to go to Wall Street, I'm going to make some millions, and then we're going to start this business together. And for this year's game and fundraiser, Feltman's website is selling a baseball game package and the 19th annual Jimmy Quinn Memorial T-shirt with 100% of sales proceeds going to Tuesday's Children, a nonprofit supporting the children and families of 9-11 victims. It was something that we just didn't not want to let a year go by and not remember our brother, and not only our brother, but you know the nearly 3,000 uh, victims that, that died that day, because those families still have to get through that day. And on that day, the Quins will be eating their hot dogs from the business Jimmy inspired them to start. We've got the Feltman's Coney Island hot dogs, and to Jimmy. Cheers. Cheers. In the East Village, Tina Servasio, Good Day New York. To Jimmy.